Welcome to the Electric Wheelchairs USA Mobility Experts channel. Today we're visiting ComfyGo's corporate headquarters and in this video we're going to go over their portable mobility scooter called the Z4. There's two battery options for this portable mobility scooter. One of them is airline approved, the other is not, so keep that in mind. And they're both lithium ion batteries and it's a great price point. It also can support up to 310 pounds of weight. So let's get into it. We'll show you a little bit more about it. The Z4 is one of our favorite portable mobility scooters that we carry. And it's probably one of the best selling portable mobility scooters on the market today. On the back of the seat of the scooter, it does have a mini storage pouch. You put some belongings in here and the seat on this mobility scooter is the super seat. So this seat is an upgraded seat. Um, there's also a standard stadium style seat. This is more of a deluxe style stadium style seat, which has more padding and it's just a little more comfortable than the standard seat. Now underneath the seat, there are two knobs that you can loosen to adjust the width of the armrests. You first have to remove the pin next to the knob and then loosen the knob. You can adjust the width or you can even remove the armrest if you wanted to. These are two rear reflectors, which help with added visibility in the evenings. And these are two rear anti-tip wheels that are on the back of the scooter. So these are here for added safety. If you're going up a steep incline, this just prevents you from tipping backwards. This yellow lever is your freewheel lever. So if you press this up, that will put the scooter into neutral and then you can push it manually. So this is good if you were to run out of battery life and you need to push the scooter back to your destination to charge the batteries. You can push it, you can push the lever up and push it back to your destination. Just keep in mind, you can't operate the scooter when it's in freewheel mode. You have to press the lever back down to put it into the drive position. Now on the right side of the seat, there is a lever you can pull up and that will swivel the seat 360 degrees and the armrests also flip up. So both of these features make it easier to get in and out of the seat, which a lot of our customers like. And the fact that it swivels, that's really nice. So for example, if you're going out to eat or you're pulling up to a dinner table, you can swivel the seat to the side and you're right there, it's easy to eat. You don't have to get out of the scooter. So a lot of our customers like that feature as well. Now on the side of the floorboard, you have two reflectors as well for increased visibility in the evenings. Now on the tiller, it does come with two keys. In the center here, this is your battery gauge. So it's easy to see when it's time to recharge your batteries. This is your speed control dial. So if you turn it to the right towards the rabbit, you will achieve your top speed when you fully accelerate, which is around four and a half miles per hour. You can also turn it down towards the tortoise, which will decrease your top speed when you fully accelerate. You might wanna do that if you're traveling through a store, for example, or you're around crowds of people, you might wanna turn the top speed down. This red button is your horn, and this blue button is your lighting package on the front. So a unique feature about the scooter is that it has a headlight that is adjustable on the tiller, and there's also a bright headlight that is up high on the tiller too. So you have two lights for increased visibility in the evenings, which is a really nice feature. A lot of our customers really like this. The tiller is also a Delta tiller. So it has this oval shaped wraparound tiller, and this is great for people that have limited dexterity in their hands. So you can rest your wrists on this crossbar that's closest to you and then use your fingers to accelerate the scooter on the throttle pod. In addition to that, the throttle is also an ambidextrous throttle. So if you had limited mobility in one of your hands, you can accelerate forward or backwards with just one hand. So you can do that with either your right hand or your left hand. And that's also a very nice feature. This knob at the base of the tiller is your adjustable tiller knob. So you can loosen this and adjust the tiller close to you or away from you. So you can get to a nice comfortable driving position. And then once you find that position, you would just lock it into place. Now disassembling the scooter is super easy. The first step is you want to remove the basket and it does have a handle in the basket, which is really nice. On top of that, this basket is super durable and it's indestructible. You can literally stand on the basket. It's not going to break. You want to fold the seat back down and then lift right up on the seat and it will detach from the seat post. The next step is you just pull off the battery pack and on the battery pack, this is where you can charge it. So the charging port's located directly on the battery pack. So you can actually remove this from the scooter, bring it inside your home, charge the batteries this way instead of bringing the entire scooter inside. And then once it's fully charged, take it off the charger, bring it back out to your scooter. And that's a nice feature that a lot of our customers really like as well. The Z4 has two battery options. There is one that is a 12 amp hour lithium ion battery, which is airline friendly. That will give you a 13 mile battery range. And then the other one is a 30 amp hour lithium ion battery. 
and that one will give you an impressive 30 mile battery range. Just keep in mind, the 12 amp hour lithium ion battery is the only one that's airline approved. The 30 amp hour is not, but you do get a nice range out of that one. Plus lithium ion batteries are super lightweight, which is another thing that customers really like about the batteries. And they have a longer lifespan compared to sealed lead acid batteries. The next step in disassembling, you want to use that same adjustable tiller knob, adjust it down to where it's about parallel with the floorboard and then lock that into place. And then on the front of the scooter, there is a locking mechanism that you want to turn vertical. So when you do that, it just prevents the tiller from jumping around when you're transporting it. And then lastly, you lift up this lever right behind the seat post and that will detach the rear wheel assembly from the front half portion of the scooter. So now you have disassembled the scooter, but there is one extra step you can do, which is unique to the Z4 that no other portable mobility scooter has. You can actually loosen this knob that adjusts the tiller, loosen it to where it comes off completely. And there is a little spring that is also located inside. You wanna make sure you keep that. And then you would unscrew the power supply to the tiller. And once you do that, you can remove the tiller from the floorboard assembly which makes it more lightweight and easy to transport. And when doing this, the heaviest piece of the scooter is about 30 pounds, which makes it super lightweight and easy to transport. Now, when reassembling at this point, you wanna put the adjustable tiller knob into the base of the tiller. And then on the other side, you wanna put that spring back in there and then connect that to the base of the tiller and screw that into place. And then of course you wanna reconnect the power supply, which is easy to do. Just screw that into place as well. After that, pick up the seat post and there are two hooks on the front half portion of the floorboard that will line up with the crossbar and the rear wheel assembly. Just drop that into place and it'll snap. When you hear that snapping no noise, you know that it is now locked into place. Then adjust the tiller back up to a driving position for you. Drop the battery pack back into the floorboard. Put the seat back into the seat post. And of course, put the front basket back. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a great portable mobility scooter that can easily be broken down into five lightweight, more manageable pieces, has the option to be airline approved, and is also made by one of the up and coming brands in the industry, which is ComfyGo. Their quality design of all of the products is excellent. And you can see that once you see these products in person. So if you have any questions about the Z4 or any of their products, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-682-9444 or visit us at electricwheelchairsusa.com.